chat with Tanya. This here is the sundial, the first clock we had. What? <laughs> the first clock we ever had, but this is supposed to have a, a piece on top that goes around. Okay. The, right, so the, it goes with the, the, the sun. hands. Yes. Yes. It has one piece on there, that, just one piece. Why is just one? Would be on there. So, something. Something is bolted on there, like this. Okay. You understand? Mm -hmm. So the, it would, as soon as the sun pass over it, the sun pass over it now, so you would read the time by the shadow. Where the shadow is? Right, the, the shadow would be on here, so it would tell you how much o'clock. Oh, except the shadow is on the, the V, it's, that's what, it's six? Five. V is five. Five. Right. So, so that would have been six. V be I. Six. Yes. yes. And that would be seven. Okay. Yeah. So when it reached seven, that means it's night and the sun is gone. Yes. So you wouldn't see. So we don't see any time rain. again after that. Yes, it will go back to when the sun rays over here now. At what time? That would be five Five o'clock. Five o'clock. <laughs> So seven o'clock, so, the time is gone up yeah, until five. Until five the next day. Because it it's right, night. It will mm -hmm. come right going back until it come to seven o'clock again. So just like just like maybe your old parents would tell you to go outside and stand up and see the sun. If you are standing in the shadow, standing on your shadow. Yes. So you know it's twelve o'clock. If I'm standing on the shadow. Right, because the sun the sun would show you exactly when it's 12 o'clock. So the people who didn't have a clock, they would send the children outside and say, go and look if it's 12 o'clock. Yes, <laughs> so, yes, right. yes, okay. So, so this was... It's this. another clock beside it up there? Yes, this is another clock. Man, be careful. Uh, yeah, this is another clock. It's all or not in order anymore, but it rings. So it used to ring and this is a bell. Yes. This is a two bell that it would see it as a little lever here. Still making sound. <laughs> and this would bring it back here now. And it would knock on that and knock on that and you check it. So go on with things. <laughs> yes, yes. It was 12 o'clock. So these are the two bells that it would ring on. And you have many many other different kind. There is one over there. And here is one, all different clocks. Clocks, mm -hmm. <laughs> So they will tick along, tick along, tick along and tell you the time. Yes. We don't use those again hardly because everybody has fancy, fancy clocks now. All right, where are we now? Uh, this is a mill. This is a mill, a grinding mill. So you can grind everything in this. So put it in here. Pepper, anything? Pepper, spice, onion, what is chiefly a meat grinder. Oh, okay. A meat grinder, so the, if you were making potty mm -hmm. or something like that. Grind the beef. Minced beef, yes. Mm -hmm. Use that and you grind the beef and say, add some more. One, two, three, four of them. Oh, there are different <laughs> yeah. types. Different size and different types. Yes. So, and those are the right. Pick up all kind of things that people think doesn't make. This is good. Makes sense. But I like them, you know? Yes. All right. Let me see now. This is called a Rima. I don't think you know this tool I had. You know it, but this was, um, if there were making a, a hole into a, a piece of wood to put a bolt right if you want to put a bolt into a piece of wood then you would use this you would bore the hole and then you would get this now to make the size that you want yeah so it can go from the one here right up to there to maybe a six i don't know how big that would be but a big bolt Mm -hmm. You go up here and you come down to a small one. 
down here. This is called a reamer. Cleans out the cleans out the hole and make it the size that you want. All right. Here we are. Oh. <laughs> this is a step that you use to go on a buggy. Oh, <laughs> to go into the buggy car. Yeah, you know we used to have the buggy. Yeah, the, the fancy people. Yes, the yes. It wasn't for poor people because it was like the car that they have in those days. So they would this this would be bolted down to the side of the side of the buggy. Mm -hmm. And you would step in this. Step with this, step in this and go up in the buggy. Okay. Mm -hmm. I got type of bike or something. All right. I find this. This is a very old clothes iron. <laughs> this was what you used to. What iron. is written on it? Yeah. Century? 17th century? 17th, yes, 17th century. Century iron. Yes. I had it for years and I couldn't figure out what it was. And I asked and nobody could tell me. And I was watching a documentary on the TV. Yes. I think it was in Brazil or Mexico, one of those countries. And I saw the way the man was ironing the clothes. So they hung the you don't know, put the this is the one you put in the fire. Oh okay. But the hangle you don't <coughs> put it in the fire with the hangle. It made it was made with a hangle that can be take now. Oh, okay. So the hangle was put be in it like that. And then when they want to put it back in the fire and you turn it, and you get out, take off the hand and put it in the fire. So, <laughs> that was where I learned that it's a 17th century close mm -hmm. iron. <coughs> right, so, these now are in my days. <laughs> yeah, I think I used those before now. Supposed to, yes. Maybe in the 80s. Yes. So I had them here and you know when Gilbert was here yes. and nobody has iron, everybody come to borrow iron. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> come and say, let me, let me borrow one of your iron. <laughs> and I let them oh. out. I let them out to all the yes. people. Here are some different ones. This man even tried to make the handle. When the handle go off, yes. the black cement man, he bore a hole in the iron. And repair it. And he would repair it, put on a new angle on it. And so you don't have to throw away the iron. Those bigger ones, those bigger ones, heavier ones like this. See how that one is big and heavy? Mm -hmm. As far as the tailor. tailor when iron. they're doing their seaming and, yes. and all of that. Yeah, this one is big and heavy, but. You could see it was also repaired and they put on a new angle and it this wasn't the one it was made with. Yes. Alright. So we have we have different um different size. Alright. This one now. <laughs> this one is called a self eater iron or a tailor iron. Self heater. Yes, that's what they call. Oh, it. self heater. Yes, <laughs> self heater. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was in there. In here. I need to get these all back to working. Yes. What they used to operate it? It has a handle. It has oh, a handle. so it goes on the fire as well. Yes, this one. No, this doesn't go on the fire. It has a lever that you lock it with. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, so lock it. You put the coal in here. Okay. You put the coal. <laughs> put the coal in here and you wait on it until it is heated, properly heated. Mm -hmm. And then now they use this to iron. So that's what the, the tailor use. The tailor and people like those who do heavy stuff. Yes. They would use this and they have a bigger one. This is just a lighter one. My mother used to have a big one and when we come from church in the night she used to light it up and we make tea. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, she put coal in it. And my father always wanted a cup of tea before he go to bed. Yes. So he would <coughs> put the um, 
we put the coal in here and put a little pot on there and add some water and we make tea. <laughs> and okay. There are different ones. It's another different matter one. Maybe I'm more madder one than that. Yes, yes. That one. And over there I had a real seat. I don't see it go right there. Right oh. That's a new one actually. This one here? Yes. Just like this. It's more or less. Oh, okay. More or less like that one. There is so much things here for you to see. Oh Lord. This was one of the Mine it drop, mine it drop. This was one of the the first electric iron. <laughs> oh, okay. This was one of the first. Plug one. in this one yes. to to work. So this one it used to carry a ailment inside. So you could take that out and go and buy one and put on there. Yes. And your iron will be ready again. See the <coughs> see the impression of the old element there. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you you could go and buy the element and put on there. And so I want one of the old electric yeah, irons. This is one of the oldest ones we ever had. Look, I still can use this. is going to put it on the fire too. Mm -hmm. They used to put this on the fire when, when the electricity, when it was gone, the electricity, something worked out there. So you could put it on the fire and hot it and okay. use it still. Jamaican style. Yes. All right. I'm going to show you. Now get up here. If you see the old spin there. <laughs> you see those two pins? Yeah. Hello, hello. What's up, sir? I'm here. I was telling you about the pin. Those yes. two pins you see up there. They are not... They are not normal pin that you would use to pin, pin up your clothes. But those were used in the long time days by the police. Okay. So that was what they would use to arrest a woman. <laughs> the pin? Yeah, they didn't use handcuff. So how they put the hands together and stuff? Yes, I was thinking about the pin. Uh -huh. Those pin, in the long days gone, they didn't use a handcuff. To put on a lady's hand. Ladies were so special then. <laughs> so they didn't use handcuff. They would use that to pin up the dress steel. Oh! They would pin up your dress steel like that. Mm -hmm. Ladies don't really used to wear pants. So they would. So they could walk. Right, they could <laughs> run away. So could they run away. Right, so mm -hmm. that, was, that was called a restraining thing. They use that to restrain you so you can just keep together and no running away. So that was what they use. Okay. Right. Let me. That was the stand for the iron. <laughs> that mm -hmm. I have to show you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when it when they um put the iron. This was what you set the iron. You set it on to um if it was too hot or you take it out of the fire and this was the stand that you, you set it on. Okay. Right, so Alright, so we we came from the pin. I had a very unusual coconut grater there. I don't know if you ever see one like Where that. Where is it? <laughs> Just a minute. Okay. Uh, I need a room. Okay. I wish somebody would give me a room. <sighs> oh, so you can store them? Oh, I can space them a bit better so I can... Room so you can yes. Alright. I wanted to show you the coconut grater. 
Oh, that thing this is very. This is very, very important and special. This is a coconut grater. Mm-hmm. Right? So you would have to sit on here, put it down. You put it down like that and you would sit on there. And so now you would break the coconut into half like that. Okay. And then you would scoop it out. Oh. Generally, you would sit on here. Mm -hmm. okay. Sit, <laughs> yeah, sit on and scoop. Yeah, and and you could put it up on a higher place mm -hmm. like this. You could put it up on somewhere like that. And you know, it, is, it has teeth here. Okay. So it's sharp. Yes, yeah, so I just pull it so out, pull it like, apart. Right, so you just scrape the coconut off. That was one type of coconut greater that day. We used to have. Okay. Alright. Milo. Milo didn't come in in, <laughs> in the bags and stuff Milo like that. It didn't come in plastic bags, it came in can. Different size of can. So I see that for those who have never seen a Milo can. Mm-hmm. This is the coffee. Uh, this is a coffee maker. Okay. That's the cover. Oh. Water in there too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you would put it. You put the the jugs in here, the coffee in here. And you put it down in there. Mm -hmm. And you you cover it. Put it on the fire. Yes. And then the, it would perk. Okay. It would perk and the coffee would come up. The water would come up in this and go through the coffee. Yes. And then in a few minutes you have your coffee ready. Very nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Everything is electric now. Yes. Put that. That one make real good coffee. Very special. The cooling jam there. Here we have the cooling jar. A uh, jar. Cooling jar. <laughs> yes. That was what was made as a water jar to keep the water cool. So when you get a drink of water out of this, it's like it was coming out of the fridge. Yes. Yeah, and uh, they had a stone that they used to drop in there. They said that helped to purify the water. Okay. But when you get the water from this, it's like coming right out of the fridge. That's made of clay. So I was at their fridge back then. Yes. We yeah, get cool like, water, ice right, water. So we get cool ice water like that. Mm -hmm. It wasn't really ice, but it was so cool. Yes. It's like you get a good drink of ice water. Mm -hmm. and there you have the yaba. Yes. Special type of. Special type of yaba mixing bowl. Okay. So, all those people who make cake. That's what they mixed it in. Right. Or you could make just about anything you want to mix. Or you want to make up you can use it as a punch bowl. Okay. You know. Put your sorrel in there and all things like that. Mm -hmm. So it's all pottery. Okay. Uh -huh. I have to put it over at harm's way. Yes, it's clear. It's breakable. Alright, up there you know the old grater. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you know the old grater. We have many different types of grater. Alright. And here is some of the real old silver that they used to have. Okay. See? Yes. Spoon this, all these can shine up, you know. And come back brand new. Yes. Oh, they're real silver. Yes, they're real silver. They're real silver. Some of them, I think, is called Sheffield Silver. They're made in a company in England. Yes, yes. And Sheffield. Those were special. Here I have my little, my little spice. Like, oh, like just the pepper and salt and Black stuff. Black pepper. Yes. Maybe salt. 
or grind pimento to make spice or just about anything you could even try your coffee grain in there okay and it could grind and give you what you want okay <laughs> still working yes all right we're going through the mills already here is my ice shaver Shave the ice yes. when you buy your big block of buy ice in those ice. times. Yes, you buy the big block of ice and you would use this and make shave ice. You make cinnamon cone or any kind of cool drink you want. If you want just some ice, you just take this. So it's like a little mill. Okay. Uh, what do I have here? Oh. Uh, that was the old milk bottle. I don't know if we have that anymore. We used to buy like a quarter milk and yeah. a pint of milk. This was what they used to sell it in, not in box. Okay. You know, they used to get them in box. You have a big one, like a quart one, and this mm -hmm. is a pint. Now there's a stamp on there. The milk used to be unprocessed in that time. Yes, yes. So this is what you, the man would drive around and sell you the milk. Mm -hmm. In that. Okay. Let me stop here. Okay. See this hammer? <laughs> these, were, these were what you used to make. Break stones. Yes. Break stones for the road. So all the old ladies in general used to have a stone, pile of stone at the gate. Okay. And they would break stone and break stone and then the government would come around with a big box. And to measure, buy. Measure it, yes. And they would Take it up and throw it in the, the cart or the truck. We didn't have much truck in those days. It was like a cart drawn with mule. Oh, okay. Uh, so they would measure it and throw it in the in the cart or in the truck. And they take it away and um, repair the roads. Okay. Right, so the road wasn't as bad in, in those days as it is now. Because they would use all those stones to maintain when the road is getting bad. Okay. Right, so all those things was important. What kind of books are those? Oh, uh, this one. Oh, it's a Jamaican history. Story of Jamaica. Yes, yeah, Story of Jamaica. And, there. and this one was, this is from a man of Dalistan. Okay. We call him Rochi, last man. He's involved in this book. I oh. bought it from him. Okay. He's still up there. I saw him not very long. I just buy some pimento oil from him. Guys, it was a wonderful experience. The tour was lovely. There are so many things that we have seen from the past. And it has also brought back so many memories. But in the meantime, I want to thank you for watching Chat Jamaican. Little more. Stay tuned for the next part. Alright? <laughs>